questions? How does one prepare an introductory statement for the MC that's funny and relates to one's persona and material? <laughs> how, how, he, yeah, just do all those things. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to yeah. Uh, yeah, introductions are, are, are really a weird thing because, uh, at least I've seen it not in uh, uh, London, New York, and in Los Angeles in particular, they don't really use them very much. Uh, they just get up and say the same old cliches over and over, whoever's running the open mic, or uh, once in a while you'll see a, a round robin, if you know what that is, what do they call it, uh, come around, or there's a new name they have where this person introduces this person who introduces the next one down the line. Mm. So, uh, that's, so, so since they're not used so very often, uh, I teach them because I personally believe it's the first line of your show. You don't say it, but it's the first time you're mentioned. And so, I mean, I started writing them when I got introduced as the man who invented the blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, I'd really rather be introduced another way. <laughs> so I started writing them, and I found most people didn't use them and stuff. Once in a while you would, but, you know, when I can get somebody to do it, especially if you wrote one that has a good joke. And what you do is, part of it is go on the Internet and look at them. Get old joke books, like Milton Berle's uh, uh, joke file. He's got two of them that are this so thick. Any, any, any joke book by Judy Brown, who took them all from the best comedians and compiled them until they stopped her. <laughs> <laughs> but they're great joke books. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know. That, you mentioned it, her before. That was the one you said, Judy Brown? Judy Brown, yeah. Judy Brown or Milton Berle. And you, know, and you study them. Starts looking at them. Going, what are they doing? You know, they're making it up. Now, the way you're also going to look look for one of maybe one of your own jokes uh, that helps introduce you as a character. Uh, that's really a good way to approach it. So that you're right. So it says, oh, here's the character. Or another one is subject matter. Like you're talking about rheumatology, right? A rheumatology. Oh, it's not you know, it's it's not fin, uh, feng shui. <laughs> Here he is to confuse you, like you did. That's nice, because now you can come right out and, and you know, instead of going, 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 how many people here are rheumatologists? <laughs> that tired cliche of bringing up a question is bringing up a topic. You now can come out and go, that's right, rheumatology, and you can go right into it because your introduction brought it up for you. But the best thing you can do, especially to get somebody to read, if the MC reads it and laughs, they'll read it. No. Yeah. Take two or three with you, <laughs> because the MC, most of them are disorganized, don't give a crap. I, was, I finally learned, you go over and give it to them just before you go on stage, and then they'll, they'll go, I don't do this, or yeah. they'll read it and laugh, or whatever. But I like, I like to come on the way I want to come on. Now, that once you get into a professional situation, you really are out in the real clubs, in the real world, they'll go, how do you want to be introduced? And you'll have something. I many people went, oh man, I hate writing these. And I get a call two years later going, geez, it's one of the best things you ever taught me was how to, how to put, you know, force me to write those introductions because I had three or four different ones. And I picked the one for the venue and it worked out great. So uh, part of it is just studying them. Studying them because there's different things that they do. Like I said, you know, uh, it, they can also bring up your credits. That's another thing they can do. If you have real credits or you can make fun of credits. You know, like I do, uh, the one introduction I do about, uh, you know, this next comedian, if you've seen the, the late night shows, you know, Conan O'Brien and Jimmy Fallon, well, this next comedian has also seen those shows. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, I'm making fun of credits. Okay. Those are all things you can do. But I, I say, be prepared with one. That's why I ask you to write, write them in class and to have them for classes three, four, and showcase. Okay. Have them for that. So when the time comes up and it's the right time, you will actually have a really good and funny intro. And the MC will probably read it and bring you on stage the way you want to be brought on stage. <laughs>